Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust, which is made up of six books. It's one novel, but made up of six fairly large volumes. Is a book that I've read many years ago. It left a huge mark on me. Um, and rereading re it now, I can see why. That there's something incredibly odd about what Proust is doing in the book. He is almost rewiring your brain. He is reinterpreting the enterprise of reading. I also feel that the sentences are so peculiar, and particularly peculiar, I think, to our modern ears. These brush strokes of a thought that is carried through a whole sentence, uh, and it's not broken. And so some of these thoughts are very complex and rich and long, uh, and the sentence is that, too. Um, but then eventually what happens is that those are the only sentences you want to read up to a certain, you know, after a certain number of pages. So you feel as if he's sort of reprogrammed you or rewired your, your ear and your, and your mind. And here's the thing that I think uh, moves me deeply whenever I'm reading him, is that I feel I somehow on some level trust him. I trust... What I mean by that is, I, I trust what he is privileging. I trust the things that he is focusing on. That of course it is perfectly appropriate to, to spend all those sentence, sentences talking about spring, or talking about how people love, or talking about how certain paintings alter the way we think about relationships. And so you feel that you are, you are in the company of this great intelligence. So th those are some of the things that I'm... Um, feel not only a sense of joy but also a, a deep sense of gratitude to to this man for for sitting down and writing these books